I want to do a little thought experiment. Imagine we put you into a plain white room and we use something like a Star Trek replicator to make an exact copy of you right down to every cell, every neuron firing, every chemical, everything is duplicated exactly. And we take this copy and we put them into an identical white room. So the experience for the copy would be transitionless from an internal perspective. There's no way of telling these two situations apart, you from the copy. The question is, would that copy be you? Is there something missing? Is there something intangible that makes them not you? If there is something missing, then what is it? Really nothing missing, then we need to consider the implications that this has on what you are. And in turn, what does it mean to die? What does it mean to stop existing? To die, it means that this stream of consciousness, this existence, these memories end. That there's an end to that flow of experience. Some people would argue that there's still something that flows on after death. But let's imagine that with the cessation of this body's material functioning comes the cessation of any flow of consciousness, any stream of consciousness. In this thought experiment, we're assuming that you are just this collection of experiences and processes, both conscious and unconscious processes. Unless you can find something else inside yourself. And please let me know in the comments. You can never step in the same stream twice. This relies on how you define the stream. Are you defining the stream by the specific atoms of water? Can we really tell those atoms apart? Or are you defining the stream by its relationship to the other things around it? Because then this stream has been here for hundreds of years. The same stream has fed animals, plants, has had bridges built around it. You and I are like this stream, our stream of consciousness. Then the question comes, what if another person were to appear in the world at a different time, a different place, who has many of the same characteristics that I do? the same personality characteristics, some of the same experiences, some of the same emotions and feelings, similar sensations. Many of these streets, many of these buildings have existed for hundreds of years and will continue to exist for hundreds of years. It's easy to imagine another person very much like me appearing in the past or in the future and walking down these same streets and having these same kind of experiences, these same thoughts, these same sensations, these same feelings. I don't think of myself as a single unbreakable whole, like the Greek atom, something indivisible, unbreakable, undividable. If I start to think of myself as a collection of parts, which of themselves are collections of parts, flowing and changing, but the form is what's important. The relationship of the various forms is what's important. Then it's easy to imagine that these forms in similar shapes and similar sizes have recombined multiple times throughout history and will continue to recombine in the future. Various me's having various experiences and processing in different ways. I would argue that when we talk about reincarnation, when we talk about rebirth, this is really what we're talking about. This is really what it is. Like the stream is always a different stream, but also always the same stream. The conditions that brought this me into existence are playing out again and again. I am unique, 
but also not unique.